Hey there, Chris Wells here, and today I've got a fun little photo montage of two dogs I've taken photos of. This is Misty being a good girl with a sock on her mouth, and then we've got a nice little dissolve. We've got Floyd there with a treat. Now, as a little photo montage goes, it's okay, but it looks very static. So how can we improve that? Well, what we can do is what they call the Ken Burns effect, which comes from the documentary in Ken Burns, which essentially means adding a slight zoom onto your still images to keep them interesting in a video. So what we need to do is go back to the start of the clip here, go to effects, and what we do is click on the zoom effect. Let's drag that onto Misty here. All looks good so far. And then all we need to do is click on these little stopwatches here. And these establish a keyframe at the very start of the image. And then we want to go all the way along to the end of the clip to about here. And then all we've got to do is just adjust a little zoom into Misty. And we'll, I'm going to drag this frame, and because all of these are selected, this will actually create a new keyframe at this point. And all it will then do is look at the difference between the keyframes at the start and the keyframes at the end, and create a nice little animation between the two. So let me just press play, and in theory, there we go. Nice little zoom in on Misty, and a fade to Floyd. In fact, because Floyd doesn't have the effect on, you can kind of see the real difference there. So once again, let's just add a zoom effect on here. Let's go make sure we're at the start of where Floyd is. Starts appearing, which will be there. As these effects overlap, let's just close that zoom effect there and establish the keyframe here. And then we're going to go all the way to the end of the clip. And then we're going to just tap. make sure all of these are selected because we're not just changing the zoom obviously we can just zoom in on the one spot but i sometimes find it's better to zoom in on the subject's face so let's just add a zoom there and then i just want to kind of go a little bit to the side there obviously because this is an image there's going to be black bars along the side but personally that's fine for me because it's like we're looking at photos in a photo book but obviously your mileage with that may vary so now let's just go back to the beginning of everything press play you'll see we've got a nice little zoom in now and a dissolve into Floyd in fact you'll see that actually Floyd doesn't start moving until a little bit after the dissolve so there's a couple of ways we can rectify that the way that I'm going to do it is clicking on the clip there I'm going to go up to this little plus button up here and go and find effect keyframes this button here click plus and then we'll see all of the keyframes for what we're doing and you'll see on these ones for Floyd you'll see that like that's the start of the clip and it starts there so all we need to do is just drag that along to the start and do that for all of the keyframes here so now when we go to play the video press and play we've got a nice little zoom in there a dissolve nice little zoom in on Floyd and there we go it's as simple as that to add the Ken Burns effect onto your own photos directly in Lightworks so thanks for watching head over to lwks.com to start editing for free with Lightworks